Okay, to print your bridge, you need to uh, go through a few steps to make sure it prints full size. We need to print this one to one so that your 10 inch piece of bridge is going to be 10 inches long. To build your bridge, you're going to be able to lay your parts over it one two at a time, but we're going to require two pages in order to do that. So I've saved a copy of this file as Dimension Bridge 2. So I go here and I go File, Save a Copy As. And if you look, Dimension Bridge Part 2. I've already done that, so I don't do, need to do that again. This way I have two separate files I can work with, so I can print a left side and a right side. We're going to start with the left side first, and uh, we're going to trim off the pieces we don't need so we can print our bridge. So in this case, I'll get rid of this dimension here. I'll get rid of this dimension here. And then this half of the bridge can go. Now I've double clicked it to select it, but I want to keep this line right here. So I shift click to deselect it. Now when I hit delete, everything that's highlighted goes away. Now I have half a bridge. That's why we put this dimension, this uh, center line in last time. So now to print, the first thing I need to do is get my bridge so it takes up as much of the window as I can. So I'm going to use the pan tool and center it. I'm going to scale in so that I can take up as much of this window as possible. In fact, zoom in just a little further. A little more fine tuning on my zoom. And this is a little bit of a tricky process, so it's going to take a few tries. If you leave too much white space, the printer will try to print that, and your printout may take a bunch of pages, and you may not get it all on one sheet. So uh, you want to try to get this as tight as you can. I think this is good enough. So now I'm going to hit print. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of fit to page. And I'm not going to use model extents because that's going to scale it. I'm going to change it to one inch in the printout is one inch in SketchUp. So now it says I've got four pages, so I'm going off my page. So I've got to go do some more fine tuning. So I'm going to make sure nothing else is selected. Maybe trim this in a little bit. Perhaps I'll even get rid of this so I can clean it up a little more. Get it as snug as possible. No white space for me, thank you. So again, try to print. One to two. I think we're going to be able to squeeze it onto that first page. Because I'm just about past 10, 10 inches on the width. So, oh, and I have to. Get this over to the printer of my choosing, in this case Pod B Rico, and landscape. That should help with the last bit. So now I should be all right. So I'm going to print this, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I'll put up a image of what the printout looks like. But that's how you print out full size, one to one. So it's going to have my labels and my bridge pieces full size so I can start building my bridge. Then we're going to repeat it with the other file I made. 
and then you can just print out the right side and you'll have two pieces you can put together to build your bridge.